hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while since i posted anything on youtube because there was just a lot happening and i was just trying to be myself and to focus i think and yeah um, so today i decided to do another video so we just catch up where i ended with you guys and all that um, i hope y'all doing amazing and i hope uh, it's a new year you know so i just hope that everything is going well on your sides wherever you guys find yourself in the world so yeah um, today i'm gonna do like a life update so i just tell you guys what's been happening in my life so um, last year obviously and beginning of this year since we are just like on the second month of the year this is feb and um, january okay december the whole of last year i'm just gonna put it like in words so i just update you guys what's been going on in my life so let's get into this video don't forget to like to share to comment and to subscribe to my youtube channel guys i really want um at least by the end of uh next month i should be like at least at 500 subscribers why not any guys please share this video kareninka i'm sharing her and tell your friends to watch your family and everyone so yeah so the truth is the whole of last year messed up messed up is the worst year of my life so let me just say it like this um the last time i was myself i was like in my right state of mind things were just moving smoothly good and everything was was 2018 that is when i was fine 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 nothing happening no issues no anything 2018 was the best year of my life from 2019 things started falling apart but it wasn't that bad it was okay it was fine let me say it was it was just like a 60 percent only the other 40 percent of it was not really good that's 2019 2020 2020 was well it was better i would say but the only thing that was stressing me in 2020 was actually school. Mm, school was the only part of it that was very stressful. Let me say it was also like a 60%. Okay, that was 2020. 2021? <laughs> sure. That year. Honestly, there's nothing I'm grateful for in 2021. Nothing at all. Nothing. I, let me not be let me just think of it nothing the only thing that was fine with me in 2020 is my relationship relationship status so love related things are sorted that's all that's that's just like a 10 percent the whole 90 mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. nothing nothing at all Ache. the whole of it it was just messed up a lot was happening uh school didn't go as planned um, financially i was not just doing well financially getting scammed uh doing things that are not um getting scammed and also doing things for people but they they don't pay um yeah i was just like not in the right state i was like yo man what is going on here so i was very frustrated i was depressed i was just in sicknesses yo um by the way i lost my mom last year my biological mom last year my mom passed on on the 29th of december and we buried her like in early january and also that same year my best friend my very very best friend passed on as well on the 11th of december 2021 
so I was drained. Especially sicknesses, my mom been sick in and out of the hospital. So I, since growing up, my mom never used to get sick at all. My dad was the one that is always like up and down with hospitals, but my mom never, that came like an accident to me. I was just trying so hard. What is going on? Why is God? Everything I planned, plans failed. My mom, ah, families, things were just falling apart. I don't know what was happening. Even me, myself, I didn't, I didn't know what was happening to me. I was just like, Okay, Kenya Nguranda Pendu guys is God's grace. Kenya Nguranda Pendu guys God's grace because I was like, even by now I thought I'd be dead because I was always depressed. I didn't know at some points I wanted to end my life. I wanted like to overdose, feeling suicidal and all that because I was just like, what's going on? What am I living for? When I don't have any purpose. Nothing is making sense in my life. Here is my family falling apart my mom is forever in and out of the hospital um i don't have connection to my family cousins we don't communicate aunties we don't communicate uncles we don't communicate I literally i don't have their numbers i only started we only spoke uh during when my mom passed on when they came for the funeral that's when we only spoke and after Everything was done, even right now, no connection anymore. So literally the only person I have right now in my in my life is actually my dad and my boyfriend. I don't even have friends, I would say. Friends, I only, I have friends, but um, not even more than three, I would say the ones that are closer to me, the ones that I can look up to. They are not more than three, only, yeah, only literally, Sure, guys, only three, I think. Those are the only people in my life currently. So I'm starting all over. I'm starting over again from the scratch. So I just put my life together. Hopefully, everything will be okay. Hopefully, I'll get everything on track. And yeah, I just want to be fine again. And all that. So yeah, a lot happened. I got the betrayals i got the rejections i got yo <laughs> yo guys honestly me the truth is even right now when i'm recording this i feel like it's just through god's grace i didn't know that i was gonna be here until at this point because i, was, I even used to pray there was at some points i used to pray to god kucha that the just take me why am i here what am i doing here i don't see there's no any purpose in life for me i was not designed for anything not even greatness i see people doing well in life mine was not even making any sense no any sense i was just like yo what's happening to me so i even started drinking too much alcohol yo I started drinking too much especially last year i was drinking like nobody's business because i was so stressed and i just realized no, ma no matter how much you drink alcohol it won't even do anything to you like it won't solve your problems you know what i'm trying to say it won't solve your problems if you are still like in problems you continue to be in problems nothing will change my dear nothing will change so i was just there drinking too much yeah and doing what so i have like a little bunny here come yeah. so nothing was making sense i started drinking too much going out and yeah that was basically that was what was happening to me the whole of last year and what else and also what mm -hmm. Especially when I lost my be my best friend, I was like, yo, um, this is, death is real. That's when I started realizing which are death is real. And when I lost my mom, that was the major thing that really affecting me. And it is affecting me until now. 
but there's nothing I can do. What happened happened. Um, you know, we are not here to stay forever. We are not here to stay. We are just here like to visit and we'll go one day. Every one of us is gonna die, obviously. And yeah, so that happened. But um, this year, I'll try to limit everything that I used to do, all the bad habits that I used to have, like drinking and also not being productive. Um, I just want to be a productive person. I want to do everything, whatever I do, I put my all effort, everything. And I want to stop procrastinating, like I do everything last minute. Like whatever I do is just like these last minute things. I want to stop that and these things of spending money on all unnecessary things. I want to stop it and drink too much alcohol, limit I have to limit alcohol intake and yeah I am gonna go back to school, I'm gonna study. Um so I want to focus on my education. I also want to be educated like other kids you know and one thing about me i'm a very smart lady it's not like i'm dumb or dull you know <laughs> no i'm not at all i'm a very smart girl that is the truth and yeah i just want to do good and to do best for myself you know yes i feel like yes i'm going and i feel like i haven't done so much i just want to do to put everything in place at this one where are you going come <laughs> i want to put everything in into places where i have um, messed up i want to rectify my mistakes and do more what are you gonna it's a uh, uh, uh. mm. did you stop it <laughs> this one doesn't want to be held i don't know why she's acting up i mean it's a he by the way so yeah basically that's what been happening to me but overall i thank god the reason why i'm here today is it's because of him basically because i thought i'll be gone like i said earlier this in this video i used to feel funny there was i used to feel bad i used to feel unproductive i used to feel like i haven't done anything much I used to feel like I was just a dumb person, but at the same time, like I said, I'm very smart. Not only book smart, people know me as a book smarty, but not only that, even, yeah, I'm, I'm just a smart lady. So I feel like at some points now, throughout those years that I, my life haven't been together. And until now, it's not even together. Ah, uh, but this year I have to force things if I have to force. I'm gonna force things i will make sure my life is fine is back together i'm not gonna be in the position where i have to doubt myself again the same way i doubted myself last year i used to doubt myself i i can't do this i can't do that but i feel like i'm even a talented lady in my opinion and i can do better i just want to be the best daughter to my father to be the best partner to my partner and also to be the best version of myself, the always the girl that I have dreamed to be in life. So that is my main goal and my main focus for this year. And also, what else? Basically, that's it. And also, I want to keep my relationship with God, number one. So I started these things of um, studying the Bible going to church uh, attending those uh, religious things uh, conferences and all that mm, sometimes at points i felt like um, yeah, not at some points even i never used to be that girl committed to church or committed to reading the bible praying i just started doing that when situation were bad at home for my mom yeah that's when i started like yo i need to pray but i feel like it was too late for me to do it i started doing that when everything was already not in place you know karunga gengi wa mkongo kimbori mwili naite kukongo you have to look for him so he recognizes you kuchano 
I can see this girl is also trying her best to keep closer to me and I'm going to change her life. You know, everything, nothing is impossible. You know, anything you want in life, if you ask from God, God will provide. Anything in life, if you want it, God will provide. So long you believe and you have faith and you're also working on it. It, it will not fall from heaven and get a chiku we get a chat today. Achika wa meguru. I want a G63. I I we get meguru karungo te etenchi. You have also to work toward it. So for you is just to ask for direction from God. Directions, kucha. Was in my steps. Where should I follow? Which way should I go with? And all that. And then everything will be fine. So yeah and. What else do I have to, to do? Like, where didn't I touch? So, um, okay, my best friend and my mom, they are in a better place, I guess, now. They are watching over us. Everything will be fine. And we will meet again, you know. So now we just have to move on with our lives. Especially me, I was finding it so hard to move on, but I have to move on nothing in this world is permanent we are not here to stay forever everyone has their own way of you know of doing things and all that God's timing so it was their time to leave this world so yeah everything will be eventually fine from my side mm, from my side everything will be eventually fine and I'll just um, try my level best to be the best version of myself and to work hard and to work toward my dreams and my goals in life and the rest shall follow I'm not gonna be heavy on myself never I'm not gonna be heavy on myself I'm not gonna compete with anyone I'm gonna do my things on my own no competition no competition i'm not gonna compete with anyone and i've never competed with anyone maybe academic when i used to be in primary school you know junior secondary and secondary school you know you have to fight for the position especially me i like position more than points <laughs> i don't know why if i'm not in the top three i'll not be fine luckily when i wrote my grade 12 national exam i was in the top three of my class and yeah, I used to compete academic-wise. I'll compete because, you know, I don't want to be down. You no, know? I don't want to be down. But other things else, you see someone with a Mercedes-Benz and you're also there, which I know I also wanted. Why does she have it? And I also don't have it. And me and her know each other. We school together. We, I was even better than her. I was doing better than her or him. You know, that type of competition I don't want. And also to be jealous of other people. There are those people that are always jealous. I don't know why. I've never been jealous of anyone before. If if I have, I don't remember it. Maybe when I was very young or something. I can't remember. People, we got timing for us is different. If your friend is uh, having a house at the age of 22, don't also expect you to have a house at the age of, age of 22. Like, no, it's not your time. What if your time is to have a house at the age age of forty or fifty? Like, hmm, stop be. We must stop being jealous of other people because they are having this and this in life, and you don't have it. Now you feel, you feel like, why are they living that life and I'm not living it? It's not your time. It's not your time at all. Everyone has their own time, and you know, some people are even jealous of people they should be learning from. Like, you should learn from that person, but you are jealous of them, you know. I've been gone through that. I've uh, I've seen things happening, you know. I've seen things happening. I'm just like, yo, wow. Hectic. <laughs> it's very hectic. People don't want to see others succeeding in life, you know. So I'm just like, oh, okay, sharp. So basically, that's the life update I had for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try by all means to be consistent. At least just subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. I need those subscribers. At least let, uh, let hit like a 500 subscriber. And I'll be posting. I'll be talking to you guys more often. 
bye guys thank you so much for watching come say bye to the people come say bye to our lovies come say bye are you not gonna say bye say subscribe to mommy's channel say bye anyways guys thank you so much for watching we love you we love you so much <laughs>